we, we try as much as we can to make that decision a choice. Now, I know in the youth leagues there may be some, uh, some other issues to it, but I, I can tell you if you went back to Rutgers when I was recruited in 1963, I knew I was a quarterback. There, there was no doubt in my mind I was a quarterback. And uh, I went through my freshman fall, and I'm uh, into my freshman spring, and I'm fighting for the quarterback job, and all of a sudden it, it dawns on me, you know what, I, I think I may be the third quarterback here. And so about midway through the spring, I went to my defensive coach, and uh, whose name is Dewey King, tremendous influence in my life still today, and uh, I said, Coach King, what would you think if I maybe made the move to defense? And the first thing out of his mouth was, you dummy, we never thought you'd ask. <laughs> I was so headstrong, but if they had moved me when I still thought I was quarterback, I would have resisted. But because it was my idea, uh, that it, it became a much easier uh, uh, transition. So I think we, we have to be careful in what we do. And it would have been better for me to stay and fail at quarterback for the rest of that spring than for them to force me uh, to do this. Bill McCartney, a great Christian brother of mine, always said a man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. And so I think there has to be, a, a, in the part of the player, an understanding and a, and a want to make that move.